it's Marley, and today we are doing virtual gardening. Um, and the subject of today's class, as you may have seen from the title, is avocados. So, as we may know, as at least adults know, avocados are kind of expensive. Um, so today, that's why I'm going to teach you guys how to grow your own infinite supply of free avocados. Well, you have to buy the first avocado, but once your tree grows up and starts bearing fruit, then you'll have free avocados. So that's neat. But avocados are a pretty cool snack. Uh, if you haven't had them before, they're delicious, they're creamy, um, they're good for you. You can mix them with honey and use them as a DIY face mask. You can mash them up and make guacamole. You can eat them on Thai food. There's so many things you can do with avocados. Um, so if you'd like to grow your own avocado plant, here is how you do it. First, you need one avocado. Second, if you are a child and you are not allowed to handle a knife, you will need an adult. But if you are allowed to handle a knife, get a knife. You're going to slice around your avocado. I pre-sliced this one, which is why it looks so easy. <laughs> but you're gonna slice around your avocado um, and then you're gonna give it a good little twist. And this, it counts like there's two seeds, but it's just one. This one's just empty. So in this, that's what you're looking for. So you're gonna pop that puppy right out of there. And what you've got is your avocado pit. You might, if there's any green stuff stuck onto it, you're gonna wanna wash it off. Because if that gets in the water, it's gonna get kind of brown and funky, and you don't want that. So, the other ingredients you'll need, the other supplies you'll need, are toothpicks. And a cup or glass of water, and make sure that it's a glass that your parents do not mind you leaving in a windowsill for about six weeks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a look at your pit. And if you can tell, the top of this avocado pit is kind of narrow and the base is a little more wide. So the base of it is where the roots are going to grow out. Um, and this is the side that needs to be facing the water. So when you have your toothpicks, and you just need three, you're going to go about halfway down, maybe a little less than halfway down, and you're gonna just find a good point to stab your avocado, your avocado pit. Um, and it needs to kind of be pointed at an angle so that when it rests in the water, it can hold it up. Um, but still be in the water. So you need to evenly space these, just three of them, well, even-ish. And once you're done, it's gonna look like this. Um, kind of like a windmill. <laughs> so once you have your avocado pit with your three toothpicks, and make sure the broad side's facing down, you're gonna take your glass and deposit it into the glass. Um, and from here, this is all it needs to grow a bunch of roots and a big stem that's gonna pop up. Um, that will start showing up. You'll probably see the roots start developing within the first week. They'll get larger. You might, honestly, you will probably need a glass larger than this. A mason jar works great. So you're gonna see the roots form within two weeks. And within, definitely within six weeks, you're going to see a green sprout come out of the top and it's gonna look a little bit like this. This is an avocado that I have grown from a seed. Um, it's several months old. It hasn't gotten the chance to grow much larger than this because it's in too small of a pot. Um, I'm the first to admit that while I am a gardener, <laughs> I'm not always the best gardener. So please learn from, from my mistakes. And once your avocado has grown um, something a little bit like this, the leaves will probably not be as big. Um, you actually need to trim it back, which seems kind of rude because, you know, she spent all this time trying to grow these leaves and you're just going to go in there and cut them off? Yes, <laughs> because it helps, um, it helps encourage the plants to grow faster and more fully. So 
once your avocado has sprouted this stem and has a couple small leaves on it, you're going to trim it back about halfway. Um, you're going to wait for a few more weeks, wait till it grows these another set of leaves, and then you'll take it out of the, the jar because it'll have the little seed, the sprout on top, and it'll have the roots. You're going to take a pot about 10 inches around, so <laughs> much larger than this pot. This pot's maybe two inches in diameter, um, and you're going to need one that's about 10 inches in diameter. Um, so she needs a lot of space to grow her roots out and, and expand, you know, so so once your plant is at that stage where it's ready to be planted, you're going to have your, your 10 inch pot, you're going to have it filled with soil, you're going to make a hole, probably about three inches around, maybe like six inches deep, just long enough for your roots to really get in there and spread out. Um, you put her in the soil, make sure that your pit is um, slightly exposed above the soil surface um, and then put her in the sunshine and watch her grow. And within, I'm not gonna lie, you know, gardening takes a lot of patience, but within a couple of years, you will have a whole avocado tree. And once the tree matures, this one is still a young avocado tree, but once your tree matures, um, she'll start growing fruit of her own. And then, once you have your avocado fruits, you can cut them open just like this, and you can grow a whole new avocado from the avocado you grew. And then you can have infinite avocados forever. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope y'all can grow your own avocados. Um, I will say that if you try this and your avocado has not sprouted a stem within about eight weeks, try again because sometimes you get a dud that just happens um but it's okay because you will find an avocado that can turn from this to this into this beauty isn't she beautiful oh her name's ava oh man well it was great seeing you guys although i didn't see you uh i'll just pretend that i saw all your beautiful faces um, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you end up growing an avocado, please take a picture, um, or if you end up doing this experiment, please take a picture and upload it on social media and tag us at Girls Inc. Central Alabama. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, so anywhere you can find us. So I'll see y'all later. and give it more soil. So leave a like on this video.